My name is Tina and welcome to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you will know when I'm on. So, as you can see, I'm here in my uh, bathroom with my normal routine, getting ready for work. And I just want to chime in this morning and just kind of talk to uh, our parents out there. Uh, I, you know, I have raised um, seven children of my own, five boys, two girls, uh, and I'm not going to say it was easy because it wasn't. Um, it, it's, it's hard raising children nowadays, uh, and I, as a parent, didn't have to deal with a lot of the things that a lot of the parents are dealing with uh, right now. Of course, social media was just beginning when I was raising my children. It was just starting to really, um, you know, make its big appearance. I think at the time, the big, the big, Social media was MySpace. If you remember MySpace, one of my children got in the biggest trouble behind MySpace because the rules were uh, you, you could not have social media until you got 18. But of course, you know, children, they're going to sneak and do things. My children were not the exception to the rule. They snuck and did things all the time. However, that's what I want to talk about. Parents, what are we doing? Are we raising our children? Or are they left to basically just raise themselves and is social media raising our children? My kids will tell you, in my house, in my home, you didn't get privacy. You don't own no bedroom. You don't own no phones. I don't care if you work to pay for the phone. I do not care. They'll tell you. I went in phones. I went in rooms. I took doors off of hinges. They'll tell you. I did not play. Listen. Kids are, they're going to do what they're going to do. They're going to sneak and do things because they're kids. That's, I did that. You know, you did that as a child, but that does not mean that we don't get to be parents. That does not mean that you don't get to do your job as a parent. You know, you are not your child's friend. I'm going to say that again. You are not your child's friend. You are their parent. I just did a video a couple of weeks ago about my daughter, Danielle. She is almost 30. And we are just now getting to the friendship stage. My daughter, Destiny, is 22. We ain't there yet. We're not there yet. You have to be your child's parent because I'm telling you, if you, if you're not, it's so much suicide going on right now with children, so much children fighting, you know, back in the day, you know, you, you, you fight getting into a fight at school. And your parents wouldn't know about it until you got home or until they got a call from the principal. But nowadays, parents have access to social media. And you can see what your child is doing. Look for all them little uh, dummy accounts that they set up because they think they slicker than you. Look for those accounts and you'll see everything they're doing on there. Because they tell everything they doing. I'm just the craziest thing I have ever seen in my life. Bullying. 
at an all time high. You know, we we had we had bullying when we were younger, but now it is magnified because of social media. A lot of these children are killing themselves behind bullying. Because, of course, you know, you may have got bullied at school, but then you came home, you weren't bullying, bullied. But now children have access to social media. You get bullied at school, you get home, you turn on your computer, you're getting bullied inside your home. Where it's supposed to be your safe space, place. So we need to check to see what our children are doing. Get them off these games. And I'm not going to say that games cause children to do what they do. It's the lack of parenting. You allow your kids to be on these games 24-7. Can do that in my home. Can do it. I'm sorry. Mess with me. The whole game will go in the trash. Like I said, I pull doors off the hinges. Because when I say I need you to do something, that's what I mean. That's what I meant. So we have to be parents. We got to step up and be parents. You know, Sitting up talking about, I just want to give my kids what I didn't have growing up. That's okay. But at the same time, you still got to be a parent. You still got to be a parent. You know, all this fighting in school. I had a child, you know, being bullied in school. But... As a parent, you got to take care of that and let them know who not going to have it is me. But then at the same time, when children are on social media and they doing all this arguing and planning to meet up to go fight, this is crazy. Because you would know that as a parent, if you were checking those accounts, if you were trying to find those dummy accounts, if you were taking those phones, you know, sometimes I, you know, I've heard parents say that they take their child's phone and it's like, it's the end of the world for that child. Crazy. That is because you are allowing them to be on that phone way too much. That's why. I mean, you might not like hearing that, but that's why. It's no way in the world that a child should get so upset about a phone. About you taking a phone. I know, you know, we use that as, okay, you're not going to uh, do what I say. You don't get this phone. I understand that. But wanting to hurt themselves and just going crazy behind this social media, behind phones, that means they are allowed to be on these devices way too much. And you have to, you have to have a balance. Just like we as adults have to have balance in our life, children have to have that as well. At the dinner table, if you sit at the dinner table, got the phones. I'm guilty of that. However, I'm not raising kids anymore. And I'm not saying that my children were perfect children because they weren't. They're not perfect children now because they're not. But the one thing they knew is not to mess with me. 
And if they did and I found out about it, <laughs> they already knew. They already knew. So you have to be your children's parent. You cannot be their friend. This is not the time to strike up a friendship with your child. Be the parent that your child needs you to be. And in our household, I was the big disciplinary. When I met Mr. Long, basically my oldest six children had already been raised. And when I say that, what I mean is the foundation had already been set. It had been set by their father. That's something I'll never, ever take away from them, ever. That foundation was set by him. If he said, don't move, guess what? They didn't move. If he said, be quiet, guess what? <laughs> they didn't say a word. So when I left, all I had to do was maintain it. And that's exactly what I did. If I said, don't move, Guess what? They didn't move. If I said be quiet, guess what? You didn't hear a peep out of them. Had a woman follow me. Didn't even realize it. That was another lesson for me to make sure you are watching your surroundings. Didn't realize that I was in the grocery store. And they were all little. And of course, when I moved here to Oklahoma City, I didn't have family here. So I had to take them to the grocery store with me when I would go. So went in and we would be in the store for a couple of hours. So we, and the rules were, rule number one, do not touch. Rule number two, do not touch. Rule number three, do not touch. And they knew the rules and I made them repeat it each time before we would go anywhere. So when we get in the store, I'm shopping. Shopping, you know, the ones that were old enough helped. I get to the register. Now this is two hours later. Woman taps me on my shoulder. She said, ma'am, I just want to tell you that when I saw you come into the store, I saw you with all these babies and I was curious as to how you were going to shop with all of these babies. So I followed you through the store. I mean, the woman had followed me through the store to see how I was going to shop with my children. She said, I want to tell you, you did a beautiful job as a mother. These children are so well behaved. I've never seen anything like it. Let me tell you what I did. Number one, knocked out all that stereotyping that people do when you have a lot of kids. People tend to stereotype you. That was number one. Number two, it showed her that, hey, it can be done regardless to how many children you have. So this is all I'm saying. You know, stop saying you cannot control a two-year-old. That's getting ridiculous. Stop saying you cannot control your children. Now, when children get older, they're going to do whatever they want to do. Because we did that. 
but the foundation that you have set, it'll be there. I am confident to this day that if one of my children, for some crazy reason or another, go out there and commit a crime that they know better, that the individuals that know Bertina will know they got that somewhere else. Because one thing they know about their mama, I know about their mama, she raised them kids. You have a beautiful family. You raised these children. I, I mean, even when I talk about you, I talk about how you raised your children and how uh, mannerable they were. You know, you, you see some people, they can't even make one child mine. I mean, you had all of them in life. Every last one of them. And I just, I'm just so proud of you. The woman you are, the woman you have become. You so, and I didn't do it for fame. I didn't do it, you know, so people could say, oh, she, she doing this, that, and the other. I did it for their benefit. Because... I knew that this world could be cruel. And not so much of it being cruel. I knew that if, you know, it's already stacked against, especially, you know, black young men. It's already stacked against you. So I knew as a mother, I had to do all that I could to make sure that they knew right from wrong. Whether or not they choose to take that training and teaching I gave them to heart, that's on them. But I'm confident in knowing as a mother that I did all I could for my children. And so, I'm going to say it again. You are not your child's friend. Check these kids' phone. Go in their room. Check their rooms. See what they're doing. Who are their friends? Who are their friends' parents? You know, stop sending your child to somebody's home. You don't even know nothing about them. Stop it. You don't know what people are doing in their homes. You don't know what your child is being exposed to. And then you trying to figure out where they get that from. Stop allowing them to rip and run the streets. Check their social media. Get them off these games. That's all I have for you today. I done went on with my rant. That is a big pet peeve of mine when it comes to children. So, as you can see, I have my outfit of the day. And what is today? St. Patty's Day. Yes, baby. I got to make sure I got my green on. So, I won't get pinched today. All right? So, if you haven't already liked, subscribed, or hit that notification bell, go ahead and do so. So you'll know the next time I'm on. And remember, if you're not already, go ahead and take the long way home. See you later. You'll never feel the way